The next thing we're going to make is a plate. I've got a really easy way of making a plate. So watch this. You need about three and a half pounds of clay for an average eight to nine inch plate. Pop it down. Let's get it centered. On a larger piece of clay, instead of relying just on the left hand, you can also pull with your right hand. Also when you're on a bat, if I put too much pressure at one time on this side, I will scoop my bat. I'll break that suction. So when I first start with this, I'm going to get my hands wet. I'm going to pull with my right hand, push with my left to get it close to centered. Then I can go to the standard way of centering where I'm pushing at the top and pushing in with the left hand side. With a larger piece of clay, you also have your wheel going a slower speed because you're working towards the outside of the wheel head. Once I get it centered, I can use my right hand with my left hand helping and I can push it down a little bit. And then I can push in with the left hand to make sure it stayed centered. Push with my right hand. Push with my left hand to make sure it stayed centered. Push with my right hand. What we're going to do is we're only going to pull the rim up at the edge. So when you're pushing down, you want to get it close to the thickness that you want your plate. However, I would suggest that you leave about a quarter inch more thickness than you think you would want because when you run the wire underneath the plate, it will take a lot of that clay with it. So you want to make sure that you leave it a little bit bigger. I'm going to push in, pull out. The other thing we need to do for a plate is we need to compress it because again, the rim might be a little bit heavier, a little bit thicker. This is a large area to dry. And the way you compress is you take the wooden rib and with this part pointed in towards the center, we're going to go from the center of the plate over to three o'clock. We're just going to rock it back and forth. This is compressing the plate. Just like when we're throwing on the wheel and making a pot, we compress the bottom of the pot. It compresses the clay, it makes it nice and strong. The reason why we use the wooden rib with the pointed end out is so that this rounded part can fit right into the edge where my rim's gonna be. Now it's time to pull the rim. I need to work very slowly because I am way on the outside of my wheel head. My right hand's gonna put a little pressure. My left hand is gonna start pulling up. And then we're gonna bend it over. And that's all you do for a plate. You don't mess with the rim because there's no clay underneath there to help support it. So once you've made the rim, you leave it alone. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Maybe clean with my wooden rib and do just one more compression and make that nice and smooth and flat. Take my sponge one more time because I want to be an intermediate potter, not a beginner. I'm not going to worry about trimming any excess because I don't want to risk damaging the rim. And then we want to pull the bat off. You will need to run the wire underneath your plate. I don't run the wire underneath the plate because the splash pan gets in the way and you'll pull up at the edge of the plate. You need to set it in a separate location so you have a good angle to pull the wire underneath your plate. Dry your plates very slowly because with plates you do have a problem with maybe them warping or cracking so you want to dry them on the slow side. Okay.